How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to a second man of the match Mario Gomez review. If you do want some coins head over to fifaninja.com use that code M89 to get yourself 5% off everything that you will need is in that description below. Now you can pick them up for roughly 40,000 coins to 60,000 coins on both the PlayStation and the Xbox and as you can see he's got a pretty decent goal scoring record 12 in 6 and 4 assists. 2 star skill moves that is terrible. 4 star weak for it's medium to medium work rates and he's got some decent card stats 77 pace not the worst in the world 88 shooting and 75 dribble and his physical was one of the main things though I mean 90 strength that is crazy good and 81 aggression 94 positioning and that is pivotal for any striker on this game especially ones without pace and this card it doesn't have any pace whatsoever skill attributes 81 ball control 73 dribble and that is woeful 92 finishing though 98 heading accuracy 78 long shots and 88 shot power with 84 volleys so this guy does have a rifle of a shot on him and when he does get the chance especially in the area he will score the goal but he is capable of scoring from outside the area as you're about to see with this long shot from roughly 25 yards a nice strike there from Gomez so in terms of pros we have finishing and it's all types of finishes from left foot rifles to right foot rifles and that kind of uh, alliteration going on there but uh <laughs> <laughs> like I was saying, he's got all types of finishes, volleys, you name it, heading especially. I like his heading because it's powerful, it's accurate, and in the end, like you've just seen, it ends up in the back of the net. Heading is definitely a pro in my book, as you see him win another header from a corner, and that is perfectly placed right into the top corner of the net. Strength is a key feature with this card because he is very strong, and you're going to have to use his strength from time to time because he doesn't have any pace, so you've got to use his strength to back into place to hold up the ball for to bring your teammates into play more than anything else and he's got that strength in abundance his shot power is great and his positioning like I did mention a little early on it's pivotal for a guy without pace to have sensational positioning and good movement especially inside the box because if his positioning's not good his movement's not good he's not going to get in the position to score the goals and with his positioning being good he does get in the position to score the goals and score the goals does he do because he's got cracking finishing but in terms of cons we have dribbling this guy is very robotic so robotic it's untrue two star skills that is terrible for any player on this game let alone a striker and his acceleration it comes into play because he is quite slow he's slow out of the skills even though he doesn't have any skills but I did try the skills because I'm just that type of player he's slow in the dribble when you try to accelerate away from defenders it's just like starter motor just not going in a car and overall he's getting a seven point zero guys that's gonna be it for this review i hope you have enjoyed and if you have smash the hell out with that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new and as always i will catch you all next time lads